Over the weekend, I was looking into my SharePoint online host and I realized I have lots of junk websites. Normal, I'm a trainer. So doing lots of demos, lots of trainings, preparing some courses, the junk websites have been piled up and I had lots of them, probably 30, 40 sites on my SharePoint host that I'm not using them anymore. They just created, made something inside it and I had to delete them. And well, I went through them, delete them one by one and just reviewing it, getting, getting rid of them. And finally, when the job was done, I was going into permanently delete the files. And all of a sudden I see the old problem that has been sitting there for years is still there and they haven't fixed it. Well, if you call it a problem. Anyway, uh, here's the problem. There are sites that you delete on SharePoint host. They go to the deleted site, basically a recycle bin for the site collections inside SharePoint Online. Those websites, they stay there for three months, 93 days to be exact, and after that, they are deleted. But if you want to get rid of them as soon as you are done with deleting them on the first stage, sometimes SharePoint works and sometimes it doesn't cooperate. And this is one of them. Now I want to show you how you can go around this issue. Let's see. Inside SharePoint Online, I created a site called Test Site to Delete. And to delete a site collection, we go to our SharePoint administration. Typically, the URL is going to be your host name, hyphen admin dot SharePoint dot com. You log in as the administrator, and if you expand the sites, you will see the list of active sites. And the site that I created is the one that is called Test Site to Delete. So I want to delete this and get rid of it. Select, and I click on this button, and I can select Delete. It gives me the warning, are you sure you want to delete it? Sure, I want to delete it. So this site naturally goes to the list of deleted sites. So test site to delete is here. And if I want to delete it from the recycle bin, I just select it and I click on permanently delete. Fantastic. But not always. The SharePoint administration behaves. For example, I have something called test RO and I want to get rid of it. And you see this permanently delete is grayed out. Same thing goes with this one. Operations, permanently delete does not work. And I deleted probably around 40 sites yesterday. And these ones and a few more were just the ones that they just stayed there and I couldn't delete them. Now, Let's see how we can get rid of them in the recycle bin. To get rid of this, I would say UI bug that we have in the SharePoint Central Administration, I go to SharePoint Online Management Shell. So if you don't have the SharePoint Online Management Shell, Google it, download it, and run it. When I run the SharePoint Online Management Shell, now it's time to connect to my host. To connect to your host, you need to get the URL of your administration site, not the SharePoint site. So whatever the host name that you have must have hyphen admin and connect to that. In my SharePoint management shell is going to be connect SPO service. I just need to add the URL and I paste the URL of the administration site here. When I press enter, it prompts me for the username and password. I click on next. It's asking me for password and I click on sign in. So now I'm connected to my SharePoint site. Next, we need to pass these websites that are sitting here to the management shell one by one. That's simple. Just type in remove SPO deleted site. And for that, you just need to put the identity of the site 
and identity is actually the URL of that site. Let me get back to my SharePoint. Imagine we want to get rid of this test RO. I need the URL of this deleted site. This URL is here. You can simply right click on it and copy the link address. Just get a copy of it. We bring it back to SharePoint Online Management Shell and I just paste it here. Enter, confirm, yes, and it is deleted. Let's get back here and see if it is gone. Refresh and test RO is not there. Another one, maybe the operations. I just enter the same command and operations, I want to get rid of it. Right click, just like before, copy link address, paste it here and press enter and we confirm it. Let's get back here and see if it is gone. So operations, refresh and operations is gone. Isn't that easy? And as you may have guessed, as always, PowerShell is a solution. So everywhere we stuck, either PowerShell or PMP PowerShell is there to help us and save the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.